So the other day, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez put out a tweet that I think is basically just common sense. She says, to get the virus under control, we need to pay people to stay home. Yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. But for whatever reason, this was incredibly controversial. Republicans talked about this and attacked her for this as if it's so extreme to do what other countries are doing to get the virus under control, who have been more successful, mind you, at getting the virus under control. So one of the people who attacked her was uh, Nikki Haley, who tweeted out, AOC, are you suggesting you want to pay people to stay home from the money you take by defunding the police? Or was that for the student debt you wanted to pay off the Green New Deal or Medicare for all? Hashtag, where is the money? Now, I mean, clearly she's a bad faith actor and she's going to try to find a way to interpret uh, AOC's tweet in the least charitable way imaginable. But what she ended up doing was revealing how stupid she is. What you just said proves that you don't know about the government that you worked for. Because AOC pointed out, Nikki, I'm suggesting Republicans find the spine to stand up to their corporate donors and vote for the same measures they did in March, except without the Wall Street bailout this time. And I know you're confused about actual governance, but police budgets are municipal, not federal. <laughs> Utterly embarrassing that this woman was a governor and still doesn't have a grasp on public investment. Wonder if she says federal financing works like a piggy bank or household too. All this faux seriousness from folks who worship Trump for running the country like his casino. Damn. Just like that. <laughs> AOC dismantled her entire political career. If you want to attack AOC, you're free to do that. You can criticize her. But... They're not even trying to present themselves as serious people. And I think that she knows that her base probably won't notice the distinction because you just want to attack AOC for being extreme, for calling for the police to be defunded, whatever. But you look like a stupid person when you say things like this. When you don't even express that you have a basic grasp of the way that our federalist system works. I mean, saying that she wants to defund the police to pay for Medicare for all, it makes you sound like a fucking stupid person. It just does. Like, I don't mean to be crass, but you want to run for president. Like, I'm assuming you want to run for president. You were a governor. You were within Trump's administration as UN ambassador. You want to run for president one day. And this is the best that you've got? See, they can't come up with an argument to actually rebut what AOC is saying. So what do they do? They try to use the straw man and claim as if, you know, she is ridiculous. They use buzzwords like socialism and Venezuela and communism and yada, yada, yada. And all they do is make themselves look fucking idiotic. Imagine a situation where it's 2024 and AOC is the Democratic Party nominee and Nikki Haley is the Republican Party nominee. Could you imagine how a debate would go? Nikki Haley has proven that she is an idiot. And I don't even, like, I'm not convinced she believes what she's saying here. Like, I think she knows what AOC is trying to say. I think that she's aware of the fact that municipal budgets can't be used to fund federal programs. But nonetheless, you know, she, she likes to try to find ways to criticize the left but, you know, she presents herself as the serious Republican when you're not a serious person if you don't even have a grasp of basic governance. And, you know, if you actually know the way that things work and the way that things are funded, then you probably shouldn't pretend that you don't because that makes you look stupid, not AOC. But I just had to share this because AOC, um, it's, it's great to see her clap back at all of these politicians who try to attack her because they're clearly like they, they don't know how to respond to her. She is more intelligent than them, and she knows more about policy than they do. Or maybe they know a lot more than they let on, but they're just corporate stooges, and they don't actually care about, you know, working for the people, so they try to find ways to rationalize their, their corporatism. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't matter. When you step up and you take a swing at AOC, you better make sure that you don't miss, because you end up looking like a fucking fool if you do. And that's exactly what happened to Nikki Haley. Embarrassing.